Welcome to the Hot and Healthy Show, conversations that change the way women work and live. I'm your host, Nicole Van Hatton, holistic success coach, TEDx speaker, and best-selling author. It is my pleasure to introduce you to Sigrid de Cast. Sigrid is the number one best-selling author of Build a Book to Build a Business. The secret of marketing a business like yours and five practical steps to Find and keep your people. Sigrid DeCast is the founder and director of Sticky Big Marketing and the creator of Build a Book with built-in marketing that builds your business, specifically designed for women in business to experience the power of authorship as their top marketing and instant credibility tool. Our topic today is how to write your book in a weekend. show and thank you for saying yes to being a guest. It's a pleasure and it's an honor to be here. Thank you for asking. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too, you know? me too. When I was promoting the show, there were so many people saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I really have a book inside me, but just even the simple thought that the overwhelming mm-hmm. thought of how on earth do I get it out? How do I make it work? And what do I do with it once it's out? Stops people from even starting. So um, when someone is thinking for the first time to become an author, what are some of the resistant points that they might be facing and how do you help them overcome that? Mm. So the, the, the most resisting points is that the first thing women particularly, women in business often think, yes, I have this great idea, I have this great topic, but is it really good enough? That's a big thing. It's that mindset that jumps up. And it is good enough. I can assure you, when you're creating your business, when you have and are helping people, you are definitely good enough to write that book. That really substantiates your authority, your credibility, and puts all your knowledge in one place. And that's what makes it so powerful. So it's interesting that it's not actually overwhelm that stops them. It's lack of self-belief and the value of the content that they would put in the book. Mm. That's what I found. That's what's come to me from authors or, you know, those that are looking and thinking about it. That's the first thing that stops them. And then the next thing is um, not knowing where to start, Mm. looking around, where do I get started? What what, what can I do first? And, of course, there's, um, you know, just lots of different ways you can get started. And the most often sought way is the traditional one, I need a publisher. And that stops them further because that can be a very long path. So it's, I need a publisher, how do I do that? And oh my gosh, that's going to be perhaps outside of my uh, financial ability. Yes, that can be a point too. Yes, absolutely. Mm. So some of the big publishing houses, um, that would be the case. Their process would be long and the costs would potentially be high. So what's changed in the world, which is so fantastic for all of us women, is that you can do exactly what you wish to do. And writing a book is one of them. Many, many years ago, there was a hold on the market of publishing and publishers were the only ones who could get you a book published. Today, you can just do that yourself. There are so many easy ways of doing that and you can take control and you can have millions of people globally buy your book read your book. Just think of that, your message, whatever you have to say, you put that out globally. That is just uh, workable for you today. So the traditional publishing is still there. It has its place. But my recommendation is don't think about that. Just go out there and get started with an action plan, get the focus on, and especially what I teach, it makes it so easy. So don't, don't hold back don't wait to have a huge amount of money to go to a traditional publisher get started get your book out there get it working for you and your business and it's as simple as working with secret clearly so let's let's talk about how easy can that actually be and the title of this interview is how to write a book in a weekend Is that really feasible? It is absolutely feasible when you have the right steps in place. Now, I have created this process over a number of years and I have applied it myself with the books that I have written. And the the process is all about 
clarity when you start, being really clear what you're going to write about, being clear on what the outcome that you want to achieve is. And it goes like that with all planning and goal setting that we know. Having that clarity around what is it I want to achieve, that is the first thing, the first step. And from there, then we work it um, in a number of steps. And I have a generally a five-step approach to that so that we completely outline your book in the two days that we, that we have the workshop. And people can walk away completely finished with the book at that stage and then over another six weeks we work on the publishing process getting it all in place and live published um, some people take a little bit longer they want to think and do different things but they have the skeleton the uh, the outline is in place for the book and they have a clear idea of the steps they need to take so, so how does somebody get to the point like what are the and can you help them with this? Mm. To get to the point to being clear on what it is they want to write about before they do that two-week pro uh, two-day process with you? Look, that's a great question because that really is a big hurdle um, for many new authors. So um, the best idea if you want to do this yourself, of course, is to get that clarity. Now, my book that we have, the, the Build a Book to Build a Business, that's my one. latest one. No. no, that's not the one. Just dismantle this slightly. It actually has got the process outlined in here. It's got all the steps in there. So by reading this book, you're already getting the, the plan and everything in place and you can get started on the actions. There are also a number of um, links in there to further information that you can get to get started. And um, of course, also the workshop, the workshop that I offer is mm -hmm. there as well. So, yeah. so start with perhaps having a read of this book. Yes getting your ideas together, getting a little bit of a structure, then doing a two-day weekend with you mm -hmm. where you will walk away with the, the outline and the, and the skeleton of the book and potentially the entire book itself, yes. but certainly clarity on what you need to do to make your book happen. And then what's, what's next after that? Because let's say they know they need to write a book or they feel the need to write the book. They've done the preparation they have done the two days with you. They have their outline. They've got a publishing strategy in place. What happens next? Well, throughout the time that they work with me over the six weeks, we put all the marketing in place that they need to know about and need to do for themselves. So they get a full, complete plan around using that book in all aspects of their business. So being really clear on that, so they're step by step. So we're building into the book right from the beginning what type of marketing is going to be the most useful one, the most powerful one for the individual. So um, steps of that go into the books, into the book itself, and also we're building already structures outside of that marketing structures. So here's a big point of difference I think I might share at this point in time. Mm -hmm. It's great to use a publishing house or go to publishers. My background is marketing, that's what I do, and I look at everything through the eyes of marketing. So a book is all about marketing. This is your top powerful marketing tool and it does create for you that credibility instantly that authority that you know you really have and the expert that you are it creates that instantly by you just being the author of the book you're bringing all your knowledge and expertise of an aspect or of your business together and you can use that in so many different ways and each way is different and individual to each person right so I want to talk just a little bit about the, the cover. Mm -hmm. One of the things we talked yes. about when we are preparing for this interview mm -hmm. is why would you or why would you not put your own photo or your own face on the cover of a book? Mm -hmm. So that depends entirely on what your topic is and your title and who you are. So if you really want to promote yourself because you are the business, then you put your photo on the front. And if everything that the book is about is directly in relation to you, that you want to put out and that you want to promote with your book, then you put your um, your photo on there, your, your face on there. And um, if it is about a topic or part of your business, and also considering that you may sell your business at some point in time, you might bring other people into the business. So then a book 
um, lends itself to just having the text and the you know the title on there and not have your photo on there because you always have that on the back right. as the author. And how important is the title and the look and feel of the cover of your book? So the title is the most important one. Now there are three major critical and costly mistakes that new authors make that I have seen really costly mistakes. The first one is that the author writes on a topic and a title that they like, that is really close to their heart. Oh. Here is the danger with that. This book is not written for me. This is written for the audience. So when you write a book, you're writing for your audience. So the title needs to be what your audience is looking for to read. It really isn't about you, I can't stress that, and it's no offence to anyone. <laughs> it's always about me. It is about you, it is about you as the author. Mm. And about what you, how you want to serve. That's right. Okay. That's exactly right. But the title needs to capture your audience's immediate attention. You are positioning yourself with that book as the authority and as the expert, and therefore they want to read about what concerns them. So you really have to know who you are um, writing the book for, and that is where the title comes um, comes into play. So it's really important. Um, we do judge a book by its cover. We certainly do. So the feel and the look is part of it. However, a lot of sales happen online these days, so they can't feel it like we used to in the bookstores. So that is, in my opinion, a little bit more secondary, but certainly the title needs to stand out straight away and capture the attention. And what are your thoughts in terms of having an ebook, a Kindle, or a, what I call a thud copy? All of them. All of them. All of them. You want to be international, and the Kindle puts you into an international market. So Amazon is the platform to be on 100%, because Amazon actually promotes you for free to millions of viewers. Millions. I like that. So easy. Mm, that is easy. And they do. They do. They do. In you know, expose it to all of their their audiences. And they send even through emails regularly where they promote your book. You don't pay anything for that. Wow. That's they do that. Today. It's free. I love that. Just by being there. So in terms of, okay, so they've had a bit of a think or they maybe have done some prep work. They know what they want to talk about and how they want to serve their target audience through the power of the content in your book. They've gone on your two day. They now have an outline and they have a strategy. The book is being published through self-publishing. Yes, right. it does. Mm -hmm. So through self-publishing, which is something that you help them with. Absolutely. And the big point here to consider is that the publishing house often will keep royalties to themselves and you only get part of it. Not in this process. It's all yours. So when you self-publish, it's all yours? All yours. Okay, great. Mm. And then the... the Thing that I've noticed a lot is that yes, having a book does enhance your credibility and does have thud value. It's a bit like a supercharged business card. Good, good point. Good yeah. description. Yes, but it's not the book itself. It's not going to do the work for you. What is critical in making sure that writing the book that represents your expertise or knowledge about something actually helps you to build your business? It is, first of all, what you're going to write about. It needs to be directly in relationship to what you want to promote about yourself or your business, how you're helping people. So that's where that title comes in really importantly. And then as you build that book, hence calling it Build a Book, you're building into it the steps you're going to use to promote yourself. You are going to always have this as your business card, as you just said, mm. right? Great way of looking at it. And it does, you know, solidify everything you have. But what it also does is you're using it in a confident way that this is your expertise. Um, you can, with that, create just the knowledge about you much easier. And all other services or products that you offer sell themselves with a book. Mm. And they, they stem from the book. So let's say you have a book... Um, let's say a book is, is five ways to build your business by becoming an author. And so someone's going to read like, is that a good title? Good title, yes, okay, I like yes. it. <laughs> she can have that. Or we can co-write it. Um, so the, the thing from that is that you could turn the content, if you use that as the top of your product funnel or yes. your attraction funnel for a new customer, you can say to somebody, I've just met you at a networking event, here's a copy of my book. You may give it away for free or you may sell it. 
And then from there you can say, um, you can do my online course, you can read my blogs, you could do live videos based on a chapter in the book and break it down, you could do workshops based on the content in your book, uh, you could do private coaching programs, group coaching programs, you could do a whole podcast series on it. Um, so much you could do by sort of bringing all your knowledge into one place in a condensed version. You're not giving mm. everything away in the book. No, you're not. No, you're not. You are giving what you would at any point in time give of your business when you're talking to somebody. You don't give all the details. You can't. There's a time constraint every time you talk to somebody. Mm. But you have it in here and you can allude to it. So let me share a couple of ways of how you can use the book, for example, because that might be what you're asking and That'd that be might great. be really useful. Mm. So for example, products, actual products can, you can use the book to sell products. So there is um, Roger, he wrote a book. Now he produces mattresses and pillows specific to sleeping well. So he wrote a book about um, why you need to sleep well, how sleep creates you know, your whole day, the way you, you, you are healthy, really. Um, he used that book to get his foot in the door with a, um, with a hotel chain by bringing this to the attention of the manager of this hotel chain. He, gave them the book, they read it and they said, yes, we do need your mattresses, we do need your pillows. So he brought his products into that hotel chain. That's one way of doing it when you have products. Now, when you have services, if you know particularly you want to connect with a per person who either is an influencer in your area or to somebody you'd like to have as a client and you want them to know more about it you could for example you know you know who that person is you know what they're looking for you could uh, make sure that when you know where they are and you're meeting up with them you could say by the way I, I, I'm the author of this book and on page 72 there is something I wrote about I really think is useful for you to know I'd like you to have this book as my gift and I'd like you to read it so that again is a the door opener, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So so that way you can really uh, make yourself known very easily, but in a profound way. So it's not so much necessarily the book itself, it's what you do with it. That's right. That's the yes. key. Absolutely. Right. And so what are the different ways that, for example, going with a traditional publisher, they don't do marketing for you? No. So the traditional publisher will offer you traditional marketing ideas, which is create business cards, create flyers, um, do speaking events, um, you know, create your own book signing event. Now, all of those things are great. However, they're only a miniature area of promoting that. And you're always promoting in those types of marketing um, areas. You're only promoting the book itself. Mm. You're only promoting the book. You're not really promoting you, who right. you are and what you're offering. Right. I understand. And so... Um, if someone has written a book already, they've done it once, mm -hmm. so that band-aid's been ripped off and they're like, okay, I understand the process, etc. If it isn't selling or it isn't raising their credibility or isn't building their business and getting them more customers, what would you say to them? I have had some authors come through to me and this is why we are focusing with Tiki Week Marketing a lot on this, on this now particularly. So over the last four years, uh, approximately I've had a number of authors come through they say I've written this book and it's really not doing what I'd like it to now there is most of the time it really needs to be looked at and possibly redone redone ouch ouch it's easy to redo it but it is that feeling oh do I really have to <laughs> Um, however, there are other ways and they will depend very much individually on what the book is called, so what the topic and the title is and what the purpose was um, the, the author had in mind. So then we need to dig really deep to see what other ways we can promote um, the author and the book. So it may not actually be the, maybe the title is fine, maybe oh. the content is fine, maybe it's pitched at the right audience, but it's the marketing. Yes. So 20% the book, 80% of what you're doing with the book to it's get your message out into the world. Yeah. So you need to have a look at in where are the most powerful areas <clears throat> and ways to use the book. Because sometimes, interestingly, a lot of authors have written a book, but they kind of hide it. Mm -hmm. They kind of hide it. They're a little bit shy of actually saying, I am the author of this book. Why do you think that is? I think it still comes down to that they're not sure 
whether it is whether it is good enough, mm-hmm. whether it is what other people want to read. How can they get over that? By using it. Just use it. If you've got a book and you haven't, you know, you're kind of having it on the side, you're saying, oh, by the way, I, I've written a book. Just go out there and say, I am the author of. Not just I am an, an author, but say, I am the author of. Tell the people what the title of your book is and say, by the way, that is what I do. That is my service um, and so on. So really, so speak up for yourself. Right. Yes. Build the confidence by doing yes. the same. Yes. Okay. The more you do it, um, the more you feel confident and you're happy because you've done it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> and honestly, not everyone has, has I was going to say, has the ability to write a book. Everyone has the ability to write a book and put their expertise. And there's many different ways to do it now. You can record your book on a phone and have it transcribed and then have an editor put it together as a book. There's so many different ways. If you're not a good typist, et cetera, et cetera. Even if you're, you know, dyslexic or, you you, you know, you're so creative that your ideas are all over the place, you have great people like Sigrid who can help corral your ideas and put them into a system. It's really about saying... I need something. This is a tool to help me get my knowledge into the world and make a difference and serve my clients and build my business. So it's really about saying, this is a tool. Most of it is what I do with it. And that's going to make or break. Totally, totally. And it really can be your top marketing tool because it can go out there into the global world and whatever you do in way of a service, most of it these days you can do globally. Your show is global. Indeed. Most things can be done globally. Your book can be out there on the global market for you doing the work. And you can build promotion strategies around that Mm. and put it into the book links, calls to action, very targeted, and, uh, and, and it really serves you well in that way. So I have an interesting question for you. Who should not write a book? Who should not write a book? That's a really interesting question. <laughs> um, I, would all, I would almost say a person who wants to write it because they are angry about something and they just want to expose something that needs to be very very carefully considered um you know writing on a subject about a subject that you want to expose something that's a bit of a tricky one and i probably would say don't look at that Mm -hmm. apart from that anybody can write a book you don't have to be a, a writer to to write a book and you touched on editing a moment ago the way we build the book hence that word again build the book Um, there's no editing required. You are actually building it in such a way that that's all part of it. Oh, I like Mm. that. I like that. I like the idea that it can be done in a weekend plus six weeks and then it's out in the world doing what you need it to do for you and your business. So how expensive is this process of creating the book, working Mm. with you, getting it published and getting it out into the world? So there are many different um, people out there that that offer this type of service that I am offering with Stickity Marketing. And the way I have developed that is um, it is just under the $5,000 mark, four nine nine. That's the full two days. That is the full six weeks that we're really getting it out there published and all the support you need. And you're not just getting the book, but you're getting a complete marketing setup with your book, for your business. For under so $5,000. Yes, yes. So it's um, it's very well priced. That's fantastic. It's a great investment because you're building your business. It's one of your... That's a pillars. massive marketing tool. That's fantastic. And so how can people find out more about you and what you have to offer? And what are you offering? So I'm offering the next two-day workshop to get this on the road is May 10 and 11. That's two full days. Um, you can access that uh, if you are in Brisbane uh, live at my premises at the offices, or if you are if that is um, not the location for you to access, you can do it online. So we um, bring you in online, and we've even done that internationally. So from um, other time zones, it still fits in. You can do that. And um, two days, May 10 and 11. I do have um, I do have the links to. Um, how this works and where that works. And the best way is to contact me directly. 
uh, via the website contact us page, stickybigmarketing.com is the website, um, or send an email through to sticky at stickybigmarketing.com. I love it, I love it. And so after the May dates, what else is available? Do you do regular two-day retreats? They, yes, they are done every six weeks. Mm-hmm. So we do the six-week process, and then the next two-day comes with another six weeks in place. So I do have it mapped out for the whole year um, around six times a year that we do the two days. So it's two days and then six weeks support after that to finish yes. the process. That's Correct. brilliant. And then does that that $5,000 package also include the marketing strategy yes. for how to get your book out there and how to yes, it use does. it to your best event? Yes, it does. So you get a whole range of tools with it as mm-hmm. well and ways, you know, techniques, how to do things, how to do your marketing. That's all part of it. I, I love teaching. Great. I love teaching. And that's all part of it. And so a couple of... Uh, Left field questions for you. What keeps you up at night? Me personally, what keeps me up is um, what I can do next. Mm. I have so many different ideas um, that they just are too many. (laughs) Now there are more books. More books in the works. More books in the works. Yes, there are. And also uh, particularly because of that global audience that I not only work with but I'm engaged in, people often say, you know, that's a great topic. Would you write the book with me? So they can be called co-authored ventures done as well. So that's fantastic. Would you recommend co-authorship? Again, it depends on what your purpose is. So for me personally, um, that works well because then I support the other author um, through the marketing and they come in on some of my marketing um, programs and packages and that helps both of us. Um, If you really want to promote yourself and your business, your services, because you know you have got something that others need and want, then write it by yourself. Write it under your own name. Right. Okay. And so what gets you out of bed in the morning? Ready to do the next thing, to see who's contacted me, who who I can help and, you know, what's what's out there. Fantastic. And so um, people should just send you an email, have a conversation with you and see if it's the right time and the right process for them. Look, I have an offer for you today. I have a uh, five-video series of getting your action plan in place. So if you'd like to uh, send me an email to sticky at stickybigmarketing, I'm I'm happy to send you um, the link to get that series. That's free. That's free to you. So there's five five videos and they give you all the tips and the starting points um, through that action sheet that I have created to get you on the road of thinking along those lines and I'm happy to talk to you and just hear you know what you might be up to so far and where I can give you some tips. Fantastic thank you so much thank you so much for saying yes to being a guest on the Hot and Healthy Show. Thanks for asking Nicole. Make sure you get in touch with Sigrid there's a book inside you that needs to get out and make a difference in the world and you can use it to build your business and if you're in business this is a super effective powerful and affordable tool to get your knowledge expertise out in the world and build your business so go get in touch with Sigrid today if you like this episode make sure you hit the subscribe button and go and check out all our other videos i'll see you in the next one